My name is Jean. I'm 25 years old, and I work at a company that does interior design. Actually, I just got married six months ago. My husband Dante is 33, and he works at a reading company in real estate. He's athletic and has a sweet personality. He's very lovable and bright. I met him about four years ago. It was at a coffee shop where I was working part time when I was a student. He always used to come in the shop for work. That's how we gradually got to know each other. And before we knew it, we were attracted to each other. After a while, I had to quit my job there because I found a full-time job. He then rushed and asked me out, and that's how we started our relationship. Since I just started working, he always listened to my talks. He's so sweet. His honest personality was different than his looks, and that made me fall in love with him even more. It was about two years after we had met that he proposed. I was so happy that I jumped for joy. Dante's mother, Angie, works full time at a shop with luxurious brands. She is a career woman who supervises a lot of shops. She looks so young and beautiful that no one can guess her age. As for Dante's father, he had passed away when Dante was too young. His mother had remarried, but it seems his stepfather had also passed away a few years ago. I really respect Angie, though. It's because her second husband had passed away due to an illness that she had raised Dante and his little brother all by herself. She did everything, including work, housework. Taking care of the children and her parents, Dante has a brother with a big age difference between the two. That brother has been working full time from last year and is independent now. So my husband and I decided to live with Angie after getting married. Since I had lost my own mother when I was young, I was a little thrilled that I was going to have a mom. But. Dante, you must be tired with work. Uh, what time do you think you can come home tonight? Hi, G. I think I'll be a little late again. Anything the matter? Yeah. Did something happen with mom? No, it's not that. She does everything perfectly around the house, and she's never complained either. But I don't know how to say this. But I don't know how she feels about me. What do you mean? Even today. Angie, I'm finished with work, so I'm heading home now. I can get something for you if you want. Do you need anything? You must be tired from a long day. I'm okay. I don't need anything. I've already finished preparing for dinner, so you can have it any time. Thanks for always preparing. I'm going to rush on home then. You don't have to rush that much. You must be tired from working all the time. Why not do something refreshing? The shops are still open, aren't they? No, but you should have some time to yourself. I've already done the laundry and cleaning around the house. All you have left to do is eat and sleep, even if you rush home. No, it's okay. I'm going to rush. Really? Then be careful coming home. Okay. That was our conversation, but does this mean that Angie wants time to herself? I don't think so. If she wanted to, she's the type of person to make time for herself. I can't seem to figure out the right distance with her. She probably just wanted you to enjoy yourself. That's all. I think you are overthinking things too much. Do you think so? I wish I could come home earlier. I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's nothing like that. I'll be all right. Good luck with work. Thanks. Yes, Angie does a lot of things perfectly. That, to be honest, I don't know how to handle it. Angie hardly laughs at home, so I can never understand how she feels. I want to get closer to her, but I don't know how close I should get with her. Recently, I've started having a hard time with her a little bit. And one day, Dante went away on a business trip for two weeks. That meant that it was just the two of us. We both work full time, so it's not as if we see each other that much. But still, it's two weeks, and I was getting nervous.
Jean, I've just arrived. You must be tired. I'm glad you got there safely. Take care of mom for two weeks, okay? And is perfect, so I don't... What are you saying? She can take care of herself, but she's actually pretty clumsy and gets nervous easily. Mom may be nervous because it's the first time alone with you. What? I doubt that. But you know what she told me? She always wanted a daughter and is thrilled that I married such a pretty woman. She was even thanking me. Really? When, when was this? I can't believe it. She never even smiled at me. I think she needs time to get used to you, that's all. She said how good you are to be that young and still do a great job with work and with things around the house. I'm the one who can't do anything. <laughs> that may be true. Hey, don't say that. You are supposed to say that's not true. No way. Well, I'm sure it will be alright, but if you need anything, let me know. Alright, thank you. Good luck with work, Dante. And don't, don't cheat on me, okay? Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Good night, Jin. Good night. And I had spent my days peacefully as usual. It was two nights before Dante was coming home. I'm sorry for the third message. Can you break up with him already? Uh, who is this? Neither he nor I can take it anymore. Please, let him go. I'm sorry, are you mistaking me for someone else? I'm Holly. I'm Dante's real partner. Huh? Real partner? If you get it, then hurry up and break up with him. Sorry, I don't quite understand what you are saying. Let me talk to Dante. You don't need to do that. He's mine. Anyway, I'm going to talk to him. Bye. I didn't know what was happening after getting the third message. I rushed and called Dante. I was getting really worried because I couldn't get a hold of him no matter how many times I tried. I couldn't take it anymore and decided to talk to Angie about it. But the only thing that came out of her mouth was, How stupid! Just then, I received another message from Holly. I'm sorry for suddenly contacting you, Aria. I'm sure you were surprised since it was so sudden. So did you get a hold of Dante? No, not yet. Of course not. He's on a business trip right now. You said earlier that you are Dante's real partner. Yes, I'm a colleague of his and we work together. I support him, so we are like husband and wife. Wife? You mean as a working partner, right? I'm so much more useful than you. Yeah, at work, right? You don't know anything about us. That's right, I don't use for or are useless. You don't know anything about married couples. The existence of the two is what's important in married couples. It's not about one being useful to the other. It's more about loving each other and cooperating with each other to have a life. You don't have to tell me that, I know. That's impossible for you. How do you know? I do. You are the one who doesn't know anything about Dante. He cares a lot about his wife. Don't give me that attitude. Don't get carried away. Besides, Dante wouldn't like a woman like you anyway. You suddenly send a crazy message out of the brew, and you don't even realize how much trouble you are making to other people. At least I never raised him that way. Huh? Raised him? Are you Dante's mother? By any chance? How dare you call me his mother? Jean is the only wife to Dante. I won't forgive anyone else but her. Under these circumstances, I was so happy, I wanted to jump for joy. I was all worried about how Angie was fearing about me. I never thought I would find out from this, just when I was getting a bit carried away. I am truly sorry, but we are madly in love, mother. Like I said before, I do not want to be called mother by you. I'm sorry, but please take a look at this. This is me and Dante. You can understand now, can't you? What do you expect me to understand from this picture? That we are serious. Of course, I can't from just this picture. But it's true, and I'm actually pregnant with Dante's baby. Oh, this picture is photoshopped. It obviously looks unnatural. 
You rushed and combined pictures from an application, didn't you? If you are going to send a picture for proof, you might as well make a better one. Huh? That's so heartless. This picture is a heartless one. Do you want me to tell you where? First of all, the balance of Dante's face and body is not right, and he doesn't have such bad taste in clothes. Do you want me to continue? But there is Dante's baby in my tummy. Yeah, your grandchild. Your first too. Oh, about that. If it's not Dante's child, it's not my grandchild either. Jean and my younger son's wife are the only women who are going to have my grandchild. But it's true. Then I'll confirm with Dante directly. I don't ever recall raising a son that would get another woman pregnant and be cool about it. Are we done here? I'm going to go now. Angie ended the conversation with Holly on her own, and she broke Holly's account, and she hugged my shoulders while smiling and said, It's going to be okay. After hearing Angie's true feelings, I was so relieved that I started crying, but I also had a weird feeling left inside me. After that, Dante had seen the missed call message on his cell phone and contacted me. He was pretty surprised after telling him what had happened today. He said that he had no idea what was going on, but said he would explain once he got home. Three days later, Dante came home after work, and I was able to hear once again on what was going on. According to Dante's story, Hori was going out with someone else outside the company, and his name was Alec, who was a colleague of Dante's. Alec and Hori were going out with marriage in mind. It seems Alec's mother didn't like Holly, and Alec was sort of a mommy's boy. After Hori realized there came a distance between them, that she started blaming it on his mother, and she became emotionally weak. Since it started affecting her work, Dante, who was a business partner at the office, started giving her advice. And just when she started feeling better, her feelings moved toward Dante. As they were talking, Dante had told her the relationship between his mother and me. It wasn't as if we didn't get along, but it was complicated, and that probably led to a misunderstanding. Dante had only talked about it lightly, as if it occurs in any mother-wife relationship. But from then on, Hori started saying, I could do better. It seems Dante felt odd hearing her words but didn't do anything about it, and that probably led to this. He apologized to Angie after Dante had realized that he was harshly yelled at by Angie. And after that, Dante had a talk with Holly once again. The misunderstanding was cleared, but Holly quit her job. She went back home and decided to help out at the family supermarket. As for Hori's ex, he was going out with a different woman at the same time, who his mother had adored. They were planning to get married, however, the woman had found out that he was cheating on her. He ended up getting dumped. Due to all this, I was able to find out Angie's feelings about me, and I feel as if we were able to become closer than before. Although I still have that distance with Angie, Dante is smiling and looking at us, as we both had a trustworthy relationship. I am lucky to have such a wonderful mother-in-law and nice husband.